Hello guys, what is happening and welcome to this video. So today in this video we're talking about freedom and what is happening and how on earth are we going to get over this one. Without further ado, let's do this. Alright guys, so first of all I just want to talk about what is going on right now in Austria. Because, you know, whether you're pro-medicine, against medicine, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about your freedom. In particular, the freedoms of people here in Canada and all over the world right now that are being affected by the Cerveza sickness. Now, the thing is, it really doesn't matter to me whether you're pro-medicine or not pro-medicine. I am not either way. And to be totally honest with you, I am just pro-truth when it all comes down to it. And right now, there just seems to be no truth out there. And people are just letting their freedoms dwindle away, just like what's happening here in Canada. Now you have passports and all kinds of other things that have happened. And, you know, it's just insane, I think, that people are being segregated based on taking an opinion on a certain matter. And I have to obviously be careful what I say, because even what I say, I have to be careful because I might get deplatformed or censored. And that's the world we live in right now. And you have to ask yourself, is this the world that you want your kids to grow up in? I mean, Canada and Australia have had some of the draconian measures that have been put in place. And the thing is, if you look to places which haven't had these measures, they've had equally as bad results. So the thing is, we're just not getting a consensus from our governments that they just don't have a clue what they are dealing with or what they are talking about. And the thing is, guys, now we've got rapidly high inflation as well, just to add into the mix from all the printing of money that they did because they thought they could print their way out of this one. And obviously we're learning that's not the case. But what I wanna talk about, guys, is freedom and liberty because nobody seems to be fighting for it anymore. Everybody is just totally either one side or the other. But I stand right in the middle. You have the right to choose whatever you want to do. I'm not going to judge you based on that. And the fact that we live in these societies that are so quote unquote equality based is just ludicrous that it's segregating part of the population and the media and everything is hating on that part of the population. The thing is, guys, it's just become apparent to me that what's happening in Canada is an absolute disaster. And I never, ever expected it to become this bad. We've now got people that are restricted. They can't even leave the country. I mean, it just seems unbelievable that you're comparing a place like Canada to North Korea. I mean, think about Indian people, for example. Indian people are the majority of immigrants here in Canada and they have been restricted for so long flights have been banned from their country for no apparent reason because the so-called version of the Cerveza sickness was already spreading and in the country. So the thing is, guys, this isn't about science. and I don't know if you've got this. This is about control and authoritarianism and it is insane, guys. And yeah, in a way, you know, I just thought I got to put this video out there because I think people need to see this. And yeah, I thought, you know what? Some people need to see this. Some people need to hear this because fact is, guys, it doesn't get better from here. It gets a lot worse. There's already ideas floating around about climate passports. And I can actually imagine it because the thing is when a government trials something, and then they think, hey, these people, they didn't put up any fight when we locked them in a cage or we gave them a passport. They didn't put up any fight. So you know what? Let's do these climate lockdowns now where you can't even travel or you have a CO2 cap. So then you've got to, you know, buy more carbon credits or whatever it is just so they can piss away money into the abyss. But the thing is, guys, we need less government. 
we need less government and the thing that really concerns me about Canada and it is freezing out here in case you haven't noticed but the reason I'm doing this video out in the cold is I thought you know what the cold's going to change my state it's going to wake me up and that's exactly what it's done but the thing is guys with all the people that are being pulled into the country right now that's happening for a political reason as well most of those people coming into the country the new immigrants they're going to vote for who yeah exactly and that's the thing it doesn't take it i don't even have to say it you know it so the thing is like we are literally having the society just torn apart and we are being turned against each other and it is getting so so bad and the thing is there's always a revolution after things like this happen there's got to be because people will always rebel and we've seen that happened already with the capital riots in America. They were more of a protest on authoritarianism and frustration out of what had happened in 2020. So the thing is guys, my final thoughts here I guess are we need to stand up and fight for our freedom. Whatever side you are on the fence, we need to unify and come together. We need a small government we need a government that supports entrepreneurs. We don't need a government that is pumping out billions of dollars to create this new green world when there's actually no innovation whatsoever going on because people don't have the inclination to start up a business because the country doesn't even support entrepreneurs. That is the society we live in, guys. We want a society that supports entrepreneurs, that supports innovation, that doesn't doesn't press down on them. We need a society that comes together, not one that is being pulled apart. Look at provinces in Canada just fighting with each other. Look at different parts of the population just hating on each other. We are trying to be turned against each other. And I'm saying it's time to stand up and unite together. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was a little bit of a different tone but I hope you got the message out of this because somebody has to come on here and that they have to tell it and you know I'm going to be that person. So anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love as always. Bye-bye.